Good. All right. All right. So we're talking about doing the tournay. Um, a it's a it's a difficult cut. That's that's the first thing. You, you you look a lot and you'll see if you go researching. It's the cut that everybody makes. You know, it makes them a master. So if you can do it, oh, you're a master. Whatever. Um, it's complicated. Every time people try and do this, there's so many bad demos out there. The first thing before we do anything else, properly holding the knife is probably one of the most difficult things that you can do with the turn A and getting used to. Now we can use our parry knife, what you have, there's also the bird's beak. Um, the advantage here on this one, the curved blade makes it a little bit easier. I might do some with it as I go. So before you even start, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna place the knife across your fingers. Now, not in the palm of your hand, but across your fingers with the blade towards you. You then close your hand over this, you know, just with your fingers, keeping an open palm. The reason for this is because we're gonna be uh, kind of squeezing our hand as we go and so we need it open. Your grip is fairly far forward on the knife. You want to be able to bring your thumb comfortably to the very tip of the knife. If you have to reach real high, you're holding, you know, like here, oh, it's too much. I need to be able to comfortably get to that point, all right? And so that's where we're going to be. Then you're just going to turn your hand over, and it should be really held in front of you in a nice, comfortable angle. You're going to do in a lot of these, um, having a comfortable angle on your hand is going to be really important. So that's this hand. Now, uh, like you saw, I was peeling my potatoes. I'll use these, but I want to start with the unpeeled potato just to make it easier to see initially what we're doing. The first thing that we're going to do is we can go ahead and we're going to cut off the end of the potato. Now, just a little bit. A lot of times people go and they cut off, you know, that much potato from the end. We don't want to do that. Don't be cutting off that much potato. Instead, just a little bit. Now, the classic turn A, two inches long three quarters of an inch in diameter. So we want to practice about a two inch length. When you're first learning to an extent, it's most important to have the right size for your hand. So I want about a two inch length and I'm not going to turn the potato around or anything. I'm just going to see my two inches. I'm going to cut down again. When I cut down, I want to make sure that this side stays nice and flat so I can cut down through so that I end up with two parallel ends of potatoes. And I screwed that one up a little bit. So let's just clean it up a bit. So that we have now our, there we go, nice flat. It's just like when you're going to square off a potato, you want to make sure that the ends, okay, are going to be parallel to each other. If you have one end that's really kind of a crazy angle, let's sacrifice this little chunk here. And uh, let's say I cut the end off and I, and I got in there and I did a really bad angle like that, okay, that is going to make it impossible for me to come up with a good turn A from that piece. So that's not what we want to do. Now, eventually, from this piece of potato, realistically, four turn A. Right now, one turn A. Until we learn the process, you really shouldn't worry about trying to maximize yield. You really gotta learn it first and then you can do the rest. So my recommendation, you start here and before you do any cutting, don't, don't peel or do anything yet, you're gonna wanna come in and you're gonna wanna round this off. Now, I would recommend probably using your, your, your chef's knife for this process when you're first learning, practicing good cuts, cutting down through rounding it off, not squaring it off, trying to get to a round shape. Part of this is because the turn A is a seven-sided football-shaped, why do I keep grabbing my wrong bowl? As a seven-sided football-shaped product is hard to visualize at first. You just can't even imagine what it looks like. And so you want to start with a nice round cylinder to begin from. It'll make things easier in the long run, okay? So we're going to start from a more or less cylindrical shape, about two inches long. Uh, this might be a little big for you initially, but it, it shouldn't be. Um, so seven sides, football shaped. To hold the potato, you're going to want to rest the potato on your middle fingers being gripped by your thumb. Your index finger and your pinky will come onto those two flat ends. All right, so this is where you're going to begin from. You don't, I, I see a lot of people you do between thumb and forefinger. You don't want to do this. You don't want to grip between your thumb and forefinger. You want to grip here because this is where we'll be nice and comfortably in front of us working over our hands. And you'll see that both hands will move opposite of each other. If you're here, you have to break your wrist away. And as soon as you try and break your wrist past a horizontal point, you know, for, from here up, I have a fair amount of power. As soon as I try and go past that point, I have very little power and it starts to hurt a lot. So you'll see as we do this that we're basically just pulling up to a flat hand. All right, so I'm going to start. I'm going to put my index finger right on the center of my potato, and I'm going to put my pinky, for the moment, on the other end. Now, 
my hand is going to come in. Now, the, the potato should be comfortable enough in size that I can reach and I can hold it between my thumb and my knife. All right, so I've started here. I bring my knife in. I set it on top of my index finger, angled ever so slightly up, okay, so that we can see that angle on the knife, nice and comfortable. Start on a narrower side of the potato. This is a good spot to start from. This would be a terrible spot to start from. If I rounded this off a little bit more and, and took it a little bit more narrow, okay, now I'm looking at this being a great portion to begin from and this being terrible. The reason being the first cut will take off the most potato. So I'm going to come in now, all right, I'm going to set my knife on top nice and comfortably, and I'm going to start by closing my hand while pulling the knife, okay, and letting it flatten out. I start to get a upward or a curved angle. Now my thumb, which has pushed my pinky out of the way, I don't know if you can see that, will hold and I will roll the potato away from me, giving me a nice smooth curve from beginning to end, okay? I'm at this point going to move my bowl full of water here to make use of my peelings, and I will come in, and I will put the potato, so I'm looking straight down on that side that I just cut. I put my thumb right on that freshly cut edge, so I just cut this. Now I just turn it and look straight down on it, okay? And I'm going to come in again with my knife in the exact same position that it just was. Looking at this, it should be slightly off-center. If this is the center, okay, I'll put a little nick there for the moment. can't really see it, but you'll be able to feel it. Okay. Trust me, it's there. Okay, there's the little nick. I bring my knife, it'll be slightly off center. Can you see the nick and how it's off center there? Um, because what I don't want is to cut through the middle. I want to have an even size. My finger is going to stay right above that same spot. So I come in using the tip of my knife and I will do my second cut. Again, doing the same curving motion from beginning to end to get the nice smooth pass. Now I move my thumb to that cut edge leaving my index finger right where it was, I bring the knife back in, and I cut again. This time I'm about dead center on that flat side, and I cut through again. Now, this side, right here. So I've done one, two, three cuts. The second side formed by my three cuts, if I cut all of the rest of my cuts and I try and make them all as big as this portion right here, I should end up seven sides, football shaped. Um, if I don't, it means I need to adjust my angles a little bit, but I should at least end up with seven even sides. So I come in again, looking flat down on my, on my cut piece of potato, knife coming back to the same point, and I cut through, not worrying about what I'm taking off, only worrying about what I'm leaving behind. And there was cut number four, again, trying to get the same size, and turn, and bring it back on top, and I cut again, and that's the fifth cut. And there's an even side, and turn, and I cut again for cut number six. Again, even. Now, this is going to be the seventh cut. Now, this is where people screw up a lot. And they go, ah, I have so much space left. But again, if you, if you try and cut the same size, who cares what you're taking off? You only care what you're leaving behind. So now I have a seven-sided product. But this side is really big. So again, I just keep following those same rules, trying to cut each side the same size. So there was cut number eight. There's a ninth cut. This last one's still a little bit big. So we'll come in and clean through on 10. And there we have our turn A, okay? A little bit large for a classic, but certainly seven sides, football shaped, nice smooth from beginning to end. And that's really the first thing that you want to perfect is that smooth cut, running your finger over it. You shouldn't feel any ridges or bumps. You should feel a nice smooth motion from beginning to end. Now, people say, well, what about the waist? Yeah, absolutely, there's a lot of waste when you're first learning how to do the cut because you're going to take a potato like this. I want to save that one. We'll take a potato like this right here, and we'll say, oh, I'm going to get two turn A out of it. Okay, well, you know, sure, why not? Let's get two turn A from it. Okay, so again, I'm just making sure that I cut straight up and down, nice even-sized pieces. You can see that we got two even sized portions, developing your eye is going to be very important. Again, we'll first start by just rounding off, getting it into a cylinder shape to make it a little bit easier on our brain to imagine seven sides, football shaped as we go along, so a nice cylinder. Okay, Just do both of those up. Just cut through, and again, I recommend using your chef's knife for this portion, not your uh, paring knife, when people use their paring knives when they're first learning, they have a hard time cutting straight down. They tend to get some weird angles, one small end, one big end. Use your chef's knife, you'll have a little bit 
greater success. So we come back in, okay? We look and say, ah, uh, this is pretty round, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we'll start here, finger right in the middle, knife on top, and start that cut through. And there's side number one. And turn, looking straight down, cut again. Side number two, turn, look straight down, cut again. Side number three, turn, look straight down, cut again. Side number four, and again. Side number five, and again. Side number six, and again. Side number seven, and then just clean up the first couple of cuts by adjusting what we're looking at to make sure that it's the even size all the way around. Okay, a little bit shorter that time, that's okay. Now, one of the things you might sometimes find is, oh, this end is now smaller than that end. Not uncommon. You go through and find that your pink, your, your index finger has a smaller end. If that happens, simply turn the product around and you can trace back. Now, I, say, I know I say simply and, and people are going to go, what the hell are you talking about simply because it's, it's anything but simple. Well, it, it, it is simple. It just takes practice. Okay, so we can just clean those up. Seven sides, football shaped, for those of you watching this video later, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, even sides, and we put it in our water. So again, there was one from that potato, and then here we'll do the second one from the potato. So we just come in and we say, all right, there's one, and turn, there's two, and turn, there's three, and turn, and this is the size I want right there, that size, and now there's four, and turn, and five, and turn, and six, and turn, and seven, and turn. And again, that'll be the big one, okay? And then our eighth cut on our first side, our ninth cut on our second side. I'll admit, yes, I suppose a perfect turn A should be done in seven cuts every single time. It on average takes me eight to 10. So let's say nine to get my seven-sided football-shaped product. I know, yeah, it's fun. It's gonna hurt in the back of your hand and it doesn't help if you have minor injuries. So that was, two potato or two turnings from a single potato. So then you say, okay, I've mastered that. How do I get four? Well, again, we'll take our potato and we'll cut off the end of our potato. Goes in our bowl for our mashed potatoes, for our potato soup, what have you. And we'll come in and we'll get ourselves our two two inch long pieces. Okay, so now I've got two two inch pieces. So for these, again, we'll just, to start working a little bit smaller, we can come in and we can cut those in half. Now, again, once you get good at this cut, I would just start from this position. Actually, I wouldn't cut a half potato, but I would start from this position and just follow the rules and go. But for now, again, we can just come in and we can start to round it off a little bit. Just make it a little bit smaller. This one you'll have to take off a little bit less, and it's going to end up a little bit smaller, but that's okay. You're still going to get four instead of two from a potato, so there's less waste, and you'll start to train your hand. Um, you shouldn't move to trying this, though, really until you can successfully get a beautiful turn A from a larger chunk. When you're getting two beautiful each time, then you go to four. So again, same thing. I come in, I set my knife on a narrow spot. I'm going to switch my, to my bird's beak at this point just to start using that one. We'll come in, set, and we'll pull the knife through. Nice, smooth curve. Again, same process. Look straight down on the flat edge and curve and look down on the flat edge and curve. That's three and four and five and six. Seven sides with just a minor bit of cleanup. Yeah. You know, eventually a lot of practice, you start getting really thin, papery bits. That, that's good, but there's your seven sides football shape. Go ahead and take a look at you feel that one while I do it. So that would be four. So you can see how on that I would get four turn A from a potato. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's take now and show. So I'm going to get six turn A from these three pieces. All right. Uh, so this would be how we would get eight turn A from a single piece of potato. So I'm going to take my piece of potato and I'm now going to cut it straight down in half. So I have a quarter wedge of potato. A lot of people start from this point. I think it's a mistake because it's too much mental overhead to have to remember, oh, what are all these extra steps I have to do? So instead, this is once you learn how to do the cut to minimize waste. So here's what it is. Again, same exact processes that I've been talking about for the previous versions. I start looking straight down at a flat edge. 
I've got my index finger in the middle. My thumb will move my pinky down a little bit and use it as a point to pivot around. So I come in, I look straight down, I bring the knife in, okay, just slightly off center on a nice angle, and I cut my curve, and I go, there's one, all right? And then I roll towards myself, putting my finger on the freshly cut flat edge, and I come back to the middle, and I go, there's two. And I turn, and I look down upon it, and I go, there's three. And I turn, and I look down upon it, and I go, there's four. And turn, and look down straight at it, five. Turn, looking again, straight down on that flat edge, six. Turn, looking down on the flat edge, seven sides. And then we just clean up sides number one, number two. And because I don't like it, I'm going to clean up side three just a smidge as well. And there's our seven-sided football-shaped turn A from a quarter, well, not even a quarter, an eighth of a piece of potato. So again, I'm going to start start with the longer edge. If, if they're not equal, the short side down, the longer one towards you, I find it just works a little bit better. Bring the finger in, and we go one turn, two turn, Turn, four, turn, five, turn, six, turn, seven, turn, clean up, one, two, seven sides, football shaped. Are you going to get there in a day? No, probably not. Can you get there in two weeks? Yeah, you put your mind to it, absolutely. That uh, can be gotten to within two weeks of, of good, serious practice, uh, and if you just follow the simple steps. But when you're first starting out, remember, just try those nice, smooth turns. Try and get the entire cut in one motion from beginning to end. If you mess up, don't come back in the middle and try and change it. You'll feel ridges. Always start back at the beginning, beginning to end. And yeah, you know, eventually it gets easier, but it does take practice. Okay?